Hey everyone, and welcome to NitroRCX.com. Today, we're going to be showing you guys the Mad Gear 116 scale short push truck. Some of you may be familiar with the larger Mad Gear series, the Dallas and the Tucson. Those are 1 5th scale, tons of power, lots of performance, but now they offer it in a smaller package. The Mad Gear 116 scale short push truck. Comes ready to run out the box, even comes with a 2.4 GHz radio system, which means you can run a bunch of them at the same time without having to worry about frequency interference. So enough talk, let's open her up and show you guys what's inside the box. Upon opening the box, you're going to be greeted with a manual. It's actually an exploded view diagram, which is really good because you can see all the parts. All the parts are associated with a part number, just in case you lose a part, break a part. It'll be easy to verify that part and you'll know exactly which part you need with the part number. Very helpful, don't lose it. Let's open this box right here. Inside it is going to contain your 2.4 GHz radio system. You're also going to find a bind plug, an antenna tube. We'll explain more about the bind plug later. And you're also going to find a nice little charger. This charger is a nickel charger. This truck is powered by a 7.2 volt nickel battery. This charger will probably take about, you're looking at about a two hour charge time, which is decent for a charger of this caliber. You can always locate or find a better charger on nitrorcx.com. For example, the Thunder AC6, you can charge your nickel batteries at a faster rate and cut down your charging time. Let's take a closer look at this 2.4 gigahertz radio. You'll notice it doesn't have your traditional antenna to pull out. The antenna is built in right here. 2.4 gigahertz which means it's frequency hopping also means you don't need to worry about other people interfering with your channel which translates to running a lot more trucks at the same time let's open up this cover here you're gonna find a couple of dials you have your servo reversing your steering and your throttle reversing you have your LEDs to tell you if your batteries are low or full and you have three dials steering trim throttle trim and steering dual rate. Steering dual rate basically adjusts the how much your steering travels. So if you find your truck is a little too sensitive, play with the steering dual rate and it'll dial down the steering. Great little radio system. Steering returns perfectly. I like this radio. It takes four AA batteries that are not included. So besides coming with everything out of the box, you will need four AA batteries. All right, let's take a look at that bind plug I mentioned earlier. This bind plug actually plugs into your receiver. If you ever, let's say, break your receiver or somehow fry your receiver, you're gonna, and you acquire a new receiver, you'll need this bind plug to pair that receiver with that 2.4 gigahertz radio system. And the antenna pipe is for the receiver antenna in the truck. So let's take the truck out and take a closer look at that does have the nice protective film covering on the body shell to keep it from getting scratched during shipment. It is zip tied to the bottom that I cut earlier. So let's just pull that off for now. And there's your Mad Gear 116 short course truck. Beautiful little truck. It comes in different colors. This is the green one. It also comes in red, orange, and blue. Let's take a look inside. Right off the bat, you'll notice the electronics are laid out real nicely on the left and right. Gives a nice balanced feel. The tires are nice and knobby and pinny. It's even got nice foam inside, not too hard, not too stiff. It'll make it conform to a lot of varying terrain real well. You'll notice that it has coil shocks, oil filled, very nice and plush. Front and rear. You'll find a brushed 380 motor right there. It does use a 3-in-1 unit, which means it has a servo, receiver, and ESC all built in one, which is pretty cool. It uses mini Tamiya style connectors. You have your receiver antenna coming out right here, and it does also give you an extra antenna pipe in case you bend or lose that one. This is shaft-driven, full-time four-wheel drive. You see an aluminum blue shaft, the center shaft going straight down the middle. It gives it full-time four-wheel drive, gives you a lot more control, a lot more traction especially in loose conditions like dirt or gravel. 
It does have ball differentials front and rear to give those diffs that nice smooth feeling. And you have metal dog bones, steel dog bones front and rear to transfer the power from that 380 motor down to the wheels. You won't find any bushings on this truck. They are all ball bearings, especially in the hubs. For the rear and the front steering hubs, you're gonna find ball bearings, which is really good. Makes it a lot more efficient. Also translate to a cooler running motor. Lots of cool features in this truck, and it's all in a ready to run small 116 scale package. So that was a quick look at the Mad Gear 116 scale short course truck. Big power in a small package. Again, it's ready to run. The 2.4 gigahertz radio right out the box. Tons of awesome features on this little truck that you'll find in our big 1 5 scale trucks. If you're not ready for a big truck and you want a smaller truck for maybe running in your backyard or building that short course track you've always wanted to do in your yard, this is the perfect truck to do it. Thanks for watching guys. Stay tuned for more videos of us running this truck and more awesome videos on our newest and latest products at NitroRCX.com. Till next time guys.